All right, here's a quick review of the little knockoff gamer things that you see on Wish app. It's pretty cool. It's got a rechargeable battery, a little USB micro. This is actually a video out, so you can put it to the AV wires on a television. It's got a power button on top, and let's get started. So, as you can tell, it's called SUP, and immediately asks you if you want Chinese or English to let you know where it's from. <laughs> And, oops, huh, so the Chinese one's different. I'm gonna go to English, I accidentally hit Chinese. So, the first thing we wanna test is Super Mario, classic. And usually when you get these kind of things, we think they're knockoffs. Um, I was quite surprised to see that they actually offered real ones. Now you can tell this sound is sped up, that's not correct. But it's the actual game. So it has a quick reset right here. Going to English again. Um, and so it says 401, right? Um, that's definitely not fucking true. <laughs> and it offers about 250. And then it starts repeating itself randomly out of order. The same games that are in the top. So basically the first 300 or even 200, they actually are real games. So you just saw Mario. Let's go get an example of a classic arcade game. So here's Galaga. And another time I was surprised because it's the actual game. It has the sound and everything. It has the physics. So there's some definitely Chinese copyright illegal shit going on with this little unit. But it is worth it simply for the fact that it has these games that we know of. And they work exactly how they're supposed to. That's the best part. And so let's go to another um, one. This is for NES. So it has Game Boy games, arcade games, NES. And Super Mario 3 was awesome because Super Mario 3 is one of the best ones. And once again, not a knockoff. Has the actual sounds. Isn't shitty quality. And I was also uh, surprised because it has all the cheats and all the little secret tips that you do in the other one and the physics work almost the same as if you're playing which is nice now some of the games do not work and some of the games are some really hilarious knockoffs so let's visit this one which I found to be funny as hell considering where this product's from so you know you get all these classic ones Contra 2 works Ninja Turtles and but then you go get these chuns that are blatantly Chinese propaganda like ripoff ones. This one's called Super Mario 14. Actually, it's just called Mario 14. Look at that! And he has a sword. And so, um, some of the games are just pure comedy. So when you're done, and by the way, for Super Mario 3, there's no save function and stuff like that. So you really just are going full out when you play it. But Look, he has a staff and just shoots three fireballs. Enemies respawn over and over again, so you can't actually stay in a spot. They'll just keep respawning. But it's hilarious. And and when you beat stuff, it's like Chinese propaganda stuff taste in. So they basically stole the game, whoever the artist was. And uh, and it, it's got some cool features. It, like he's got the sliding feature, which I guess doesn't hurt enemies. And uh, yeah. So that's what's fun about this thing, even though it's kind of dinky. You can have these games that you love and then you get to experience the hilarious ones. But it's mainly NES is what I've noticed. So if you like NES, this thing's definitely worth it for 10 bucks, man. I tell you, it's super light. So uh, it's a good travel companion for sure. I don't have a gun yet, that's right. Just have to punch these slugs on the street. All right, so definitely recommend getting it if you like little stuff like this. I got a bunch of emulators anyway, so I have all this stuff anyway. But yeah, once again, it's not expandable that I know of. And it's just charging and video out, and it only has about 100 games that you know of. The rest are literally shit. <laughs>